Hey. Huh. I've got a drunk raid. Awesome. Welcome one and all. I'm sorry I'm doing things in a very alpha state at the moment. Um, wasn't exactly expecting to get raided. But you know, I got some code. It compiles. What better occasion than to try it? Am I right? Um, so yeah, this is exciting. Okay, well, it compiles. It's running-ish. Yeah, there's no way this could go wrong, am I right? Um, okay, so I just added a new command. I have no idea if this is going to work. It probably isn't. Uh, but yeah, this is laser chess. Uh, so before we get... And this is a, as shown in the lower left corner, this is based on a 94 game by Peter Venable. Um, and I'm just aiming to make this accessible through Twitch. Um, it's pretty blue-blinded, you say, hey? Uh, so... Let's see... Okay, let me just quickly check what it is you guys are seeing on the stream. Okay, okay, yeah, oh. Yeah, I see there's that distracting board in the lower left. Let me get that out of the way for you. That's just me leaving something there so this channel isn't too boring. I'll re-add it back once I'm ready. Um, but yeah, let me just show you how laser chess works. So the idea is you got this normal chess set, rook, bishop, knight, queen, king, laser, knight, bishop, rook. So on a turn you can like rotate a piece, keep rotating as much as you want. Uh, once you've locked in that in, you can't rotate any other pieces, you can't even go back and rotate the original. But you can, instead of moving a piece, you can just fire the laser. And this is all, this is what the base game does, this 94 Peter Venable um, game. It's pretty awesome. Um, and just to show off a couple other pieces here, because, I mean, why not? Um, let's see, let me move my knight out. Uh, have it move a knight out. I'm going to move one of my knights over here. And if I've done this right... Actually, let's rotate this to make it a bit of a target. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to fire the laser here. Fire the red's laser. And you see, all kinds of things go boom. So, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this is the original game back in 94, by the way. Um, I've got the floppy disk forward. I've got it installed on my computer through DOSBox. It's a pretty awesome game. I really like it. Um, I did not design this game. What I am designing is trying to make this accessible through Twitch. Just to point it all out, so. Um, so let's go back to the start. What I have done so far, um, see I've got an IRC bot here. Um, and so, like, unfortunately I'm not able to label this on the stream very easily. But this is like A9, A8, A7, A6, A5, A4, A3, A2, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, and so forth. And so what I've been working on doing is trying to get uh, the cursor to move about the screen in an automated way as a result of um, commands sent to the IRC bot. Uh, yeah, there is no dark squared bishop, you're right. Um, yeah, no, go to Escher bot. This uh, account I just registered today, um, just solely so I can interface with chess interfaces um, through Twitch. Um, oh, yeah, no, I don't have one of those kind of bots ready. I do have Nightbot here, maybe. I don't remember. If Nightbot left me, I could always add it back. Um, it's an interesting thought, though. Um, so... Just to show, okay, I've unpaused the bot, and so I can issue commands like moving the mouse and this moves and goes back and forth. So I can like do um, move b6, d6. And there you go. And black can, or green can also move pieces. So I could say like move 
I seven to uh, what would be a legal square for that? F six. Oops, that wasn't legal. Move I seven to G six. So I got some very, very, very primitive things going at the moment. You know, I don't know. You'd have to ask Peter. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get in contact with him. Um, I think this is a great game. It definitely has a lot of potential. I don't mean to um, oversell what I've done so far. Um, so, just... Uh, I wasn't exactly expecting to get raided, to be honest. Um, so you've really caught me off guard here. Yeah, it looks awesome how the cursor moves about. Um, this game is controlled by keyboard. Um, the command I've been trying to add in here... Yeah, it looks so cool. Uh, it's Red's move. So you have to move a red piece. Um, unfortunately, I haven't gotten in piece rotation or laser firing just yet. Um, so those are some of the things that I want to add in, but are tricky to add in while I'm streaming because, well, obvious reasons, right? Um, so unfortunately, yeah, this is in an alpha phase at the moment. Uh, there aren't any ways to rotate the pieces or fire the laser just yet. But, um, I was really happy that after some consternation, trying to work with an, uh, some code and work with the uh, Twitch IRC, I finally got this far. Or at least I'm able to, in an automated way, move the pieces about. Um, one thing I will say is not working yet is pawn promotion. So you can promote that pawn, but then uh, the game's going to be stuck. And I apologize for that, but I'm working my way through trying to get this going. Um, you've probably caught me like a half hour or an hour too early to have something really ready to show and interface with and all that. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Um, I tried to get this to work with a mouse pointer as opposed to um, with keyboard commands. Because you see that the mount, the cursor's skipping around one square at a time. That's driven by the keyboard. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get there. Um, but with so many people here, I hate to leave you leave this completely unattended while I'm coding. Okay. Um, well, if that's cool. Yeah, we could see. I, I did try adding a rotate command. I don't know if it works. I have not tested it. Um, so, we'll care to give it a try, I guess? Yeah, I can show the code. Yeah, pawns can promote to lasers, and you have to click on the laser and then click the fire button for it to choose which laser to fire. Um, so, let me try this rotate command, just because I'm feeling crazy. Rotate... Um, H8. Does this work? Uh, no. Why did that not work? Let me see. Did it do anything? Rotate H8. Maybe I just haven't deployed my code or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to dig into that. Um, so let me put this on pause. And I guess it sounds like you guys want to see the code. Um, I'll see at least see something while I'm coding away at this. Um, so let me hop out of that screen. Um, and let's get the code on the screen. Uh, apologize for some of this being a little bit messy. Um, and by a little bit, I mean a lot, because a good part of this is borrowed code. I didn't care to learn how to do mouse controls and Twitch IRC and everything all by myself, so I'm starting from somebody else's base code that I'm that works with Twitch and chess and bots outside of this 9x9 laser chess thing. Um, and I've 
I'm doing what I can to tidy it up while I go along, but it's quite messy. Um, so, I just added a rotate pattern matcher regular expression checker. Uh, so it says if our game's not paused, uh, and we got this, then execute a move. Um, so I should actually see something down here, right? I should see attempting move. Um, oh, that's not especially readable now, is it? Um, uh, let's try it this way. Uh, deploy the code. Clear the console. Um, and go back. Just for a second. And put my cursor back on this corner square. <laughs> it's not badly formatted. Yeah, give it some credit. Rotate H8. Okay. And that failed, so we're going to go back and see where this failed. Um, let me not leave you behind here. Okay, so we're going to see somewhere here. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for coming by. Uh, it's been a fun little burst of energy here. Oops. A T T E. Okay. So yeah, that was not logged here. Um, so I guess I mean I could stick a breakpoint here and start debugging it. I just hate to go so far into this and then discover it's something trivial. Um. What was I, my rotate? pattern anyhow. It's rotate space letter digit. Okay, so it should have matched. Uh, I guess this is the point where I actually do add a breakpoint and figure out what happened. Um, first of all, do we hit this line? Um, I don't know why I bother putting the cursor back here, but I'll do it. And say unpause. And rotate H8. Okay. And we do indeed hit our breakpoint. Um, let's see. Okay, that matches. Let's go into this. Parse move. Step into that. Uh, oh! Duh. Okay. Yeah. The previous programmer was a little concerned about boundary conditions. Um, so, yeah, because I added another pattern and didn't add any kind of logic to check it, um, that explains why this got skipped. Um, uh, hang on. Move.matches. Actually, it doesn't explain anything, because, um, sorry, I jumped the gun there. Can I show the concept? Uh, yeah, we'll get back there in just a second. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're meaning by concept in that context. Um, okay, but we hit our breakpoint. I assumed too much. Continue. Uh, step. Okay, we hit this. Let's step in. Parse move. Um, step in. Okay. We get a new move. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, previous developer did some kind of obfuscated things, and I haven't had opportunity to clean every last one of them up just yet. Um, 
So I'm getting an offset when I do this, and that's going to mess everything up. Um, yeah, I need to make a better differentiation between moves and non-move things. Oh, um, like the rules of laser chess, yeah. Let me see if I can find a guide for you about how that works. Um, you know, uh, I guess I'll have to show it myself because um, publicly available documentation doesn't really explain it. Um, there used to be a web page which had the same game. Um, but I'll have to demo it myself, so I'll show you like what laser chess is. I did briefly demo this earlier today, um, but since we have such an audience, I should go ahead and do some more demoing. So you can rotate a piece and fire the laser. You don't have to rotate a piece, but you can. Um, also, you could just play normal chess if that's what's easier for you. Um, uh, many of these pieces are able to deflect the laser beam in various ways, like if I stick out this knight here, um, a knight divides the laser in two. Okay, so that's fine. Um, oh, it's Green's turn. Let's move this forward. Um, let's rotate this here. Um, let's get some pieces moving. Um, yeah, move that out. Let's see, can I get a bishop somewhere interesting? Um, yeah, just make some more moves. Drop a bishop in here. I don't know, move a rook out. And then fire a laser. And so we see that the knight splits the laser. The pawn in front of the king redirects it toward the back of the bishop, which reflects the laser back toward the pawn. Um, and so the objective is just like in chess, just checkmate your opponent. It's harder to checkmate if some of your pieces get blasted, um, obviously. And there are alternate endgame conditions. Um, let me just show one of those for an example. So let's rotate this and rid of it. Um, it is possible to explode the king. So that that's one way to win. It's quite fun. Um, let's just pretend we didn't see that. Okay, and let's move a knight over here. And green makes an innocent move. Well, red gets trigger happy. And you have a condition that's not possible in normal chess. Um, so that's how laser chess works. In a very small nutshell. You can rotate pieces to deflect the laser, or to defend themselves. Um, let's see, about laser chess. Man, it's been a while since I've seen that. Um, how to play. Um, if you really like reading, this is a way you can read. Um, but it pretty much says the same thing that I just said without, um, in not as many, or in more words than what I've said. In more specificity and so forth. Yeah, you can rotate and fire, which is pretty sneaky. Um, Didn't mean to show his email address, my bad. Select a piece. So yeah, the laser moves this way. Uh, gets destroyed like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or like this. Um, piece demo. The queen. Moves like a queen. Gets exploded like this. Or like this. But if it's looking at the laser, this happens. And the laser skips over an entire square. 
Not just the queen, but the piece behind it's also immune. Um, makes for interesting checkmate situations. So, um, let's see, we got uh, the bishop. Deflects. 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 And absorbs the laser. Um, and let's do the peace demo for the rook. There we go. There we go. So yeah, there's various rotations of all the pieces. Some of them are more easy to see than others. Uh, I could show off all the pawns and other stuff, but I mean, that's kind of the idea. Yeah, it's basically just a normal chess game with a laser added. And it's a very interesting game. I've played it many, many times. Um, yeah, these are what all the buttons do. When they're available or not available, that's what they look like. Um, got options. You could, why would you turn off the sound? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. And then, for some reason, this game has a quit button. You know, in case you actually want to quit playing laser chess. And who wants to do that? Um, yeah, I really like this game. I wish it had gotten more publicity and the author more credit. It's a really good game. Um, See, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'd really like to get it working. Um, which is why I've been going back and coding on this, but uh, it might take a little to do it. Um, so I guess that said, we'll go back and see like what I messed up in the code, right? And this is just the IRC bot to try to connect to this game. Um, okay, what was the string in? Uh, this is going to be a normal chess. Where's my variables window? Uh, variables. Am I streaming this? Yes, I am. Okay. Variables. Message is equal to... Seems pretty interesting. This is really cool, actually. You're recreating it? Okay, so... Rotate h8. Does this match? No. Why does that not match? Oh, because I forgot to initialize it, right? No. Rotate pattern. It's equal to rotate a to i, 1 to 9. What did I mess up? that not match. <laughs> so I'm confused. This did not discover a match for the pattern rotate A to I, 1 to 9. Uh, regular expressions are useful for certain things, but you have to do them correctly. H followed by H should have matched this pattern, I think. Um. Okay. What did I miss? Let's add an expression. Okay, so that does match. I'm not crazy. At least, not provably so. 
Okay. And what do we say about rotate matcher dot matches? Okay, that's also true. As it should be. Uh, so step. I think it's just a case of the wrong code somehow being deployed. Let's try redeploying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you try to be clever. I don't fault you. So, rotate matcher matches. Are we paused? No. We must have been paused earlier. That must have been what was blocking us temporarily there. Step into this, make a move, parse a move. Skip over that. Do we have a move? No. Yeah, so that's that's the deal. Um, so parse move failed here. Um, not because there wasn't a match, um, but because we tried to construct a move like so, and we check is it legal, and okay. Return. Um, this could be better formatted. If this return <coughs> true. Else we're going to return that condition. This condition is going to be if row two. Let me stop the program here. If row two is equal to undef, which I'm just using right now as a placeholder until data structures are refactored. Uh, apparently, we like to check column before checking row. Um, return this stuff. This will still fail because the constructor does some tra data transformation here, which um, make this a lot clumsier. Um, I guess I could say if two. Oh goodness, why are we using x and y here? I thought I'd started to convert these, and I guess I just never finished. Uh, x refers to the column. From row to column to row. Um, if we're going to say if to column equals undef and to row equals undef, do it this way. Else. I, I personally don't like this particular brace style, but the code does it elsewhere, so we're going to start with it until such time that it actually merits changing. Um, oh, hang on. I'm adding a new way to construct this. Let me make it simple. Um, yeah. I'm adding a two, well, let's say three argument constructor. Because I'm going to need that third argument sooner or later. Um, oh, hang on. Since I got that third argument, I'll keep it there. Okay, so yeah. That prevents the data transformation. Uh, let's find where we were consuming this from and correct it at least for rotation. Um, um, let's say one 
rotation. Um, I'm already abusing that field. Let's see. Um, okay. Um, make move. This is going to work. This is going to work. Rotate. Make move. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, okay. You can always work on that stuff later. Um, point or click is a goofy thing, but... Um, a lot of these data structures will have to be rewritten. I just want to get some of the basics working first. Um, so go to square, click it, go to minus two, two, click it. Oh. And... Okay, there's nothing fundamentally wrong there. Um, obviously, it doesn't allow for more than one rotation, the way I've written it. Um, that's a bummer. Uh, I need to rewrite some data structures for this to work. Let me at least test that I'm able to get to the rotate button without breaking the program. So, let's get the cursor here. If I want to say rotate um, B8, click that, click the button. Oh, nice. If I try to rotate B8 again, yeah, rotate's not available, because unfortunately the game doesn't work that way. Um, if I try to move B8 to C8, that works. Cool. That's progress. <sighs> so I'm able to rotate. I'm able to um, uh, move pieces. Let me do one last thing to be able to fire. Because um, firing is going to be important too. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Okay. So, because I was testing earlier today, I figured out that in order to fire the laser, you actually need um, to specify which laser to fire. Um, okay. Um, I think firing and rotating should work pretty similarly. So here I am just manually with the keyboard. I need to go down, up. Okay, I need to go down, down, left, 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 left. So row two, uh, yeah, row zero, one, two, column zero, minus one, two, three, four. Column negative four. Okay. Um, So let me see what I did for rotate. Uh, firing the laser is the best part. It's the most fun way, it's the most fun thing to do. Um, oops. I'm streaming. I'm still streaming code. Um, if 
fire matcher is equal to this. Um, rotate matcher. Where else do we use this? Oh, right. So fire. Um, clicker make move. Parks move. Okay, we still have a match. Um, <laughs> Uh, I need to differentiate here. I forgot. Um, if move dot adder equals fire pattern. This is probably how I should be doing this anyway. Okay, well this is an abuse. This is a horrible, horrible abuse of Java. Um, don't do this at home. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I feel terrible about doing that already. Not because I did that, but because of how I'm going to use it. Um, I need enumerations and such instead of all these complex ways that the code already does this, but um, honestly I need to get rid of the class chess move entirely and just rely on um, simpler data structures. Chess move is equal to this. Um, okay, we print that out. Chess move to string. Um, okay. Return. Okay. Actually, you could say fire. Um, okay. Format this a little better. Um, I don't think. Oh, so the next thing I need to check is not just uh, how this gets printed out. Um, but yeah, the make move um, needs to have different logic for if move dot promotion is equal to undef. Uh, else do what we used to be doing. Um, Here we need to go column minus four to fire the laser. I think I've covered all my bases here. Uh, it's crazy to say this, but I think it's actually going to work. Um, of how we get to this point of click. We should get executed once and once only. Um, yeah. Now that's pretty cool. Um, arrays are horrible things to deal with here. But it did allow me to 
you know, use a variable number of arguments, or use a number of arguments that's non-singular. Um, Okie dokie. Let's stick the cursor there. Yeah, I mean, I took this rotate thing and expanded it just a little further. Um, welcome to Laser Chess Alpha. Just pointing out that this might not work. But we'll see. Uh, let's try Fire A6. Not that it matters which laser I fire, because I only have one. Um, but let's try it. A6. There we go. I just didn't put the cursor back in the upper right hand corner when it was done. Um, so, oh, well, yeah, it needs to wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I have no way of detecting when the laser's done. That's awesome. Um, uh, that's a serious problem I hadn't thought about. Whew. Oh, that's not good. Because there's no way to reset the cursor position to the cent or to the corner. Um, that's seriously not good. That's like game breakingly bad. Um, okay, what do I do? Uh, you guys didn't get to see me test that out anyway, but um, yeah, I think I need to add a delay. Um, gosh, this is terrible. Point or click. Okay. Yeah, if we're going to be clicking, um, if rows i equals two, uh, uh actually, this code tends to check columns first, so let's check columns first. Columns i is equal to negative four. Um, delay by, I don't know. Uh, 10 seconds? Five seconds? Oh. Um, yeah. It's going to need to do another click here uh, after some delay. Uh, hopefully five seconds should be enough. Wow, that's kind of messy. Well, it's better than nothing, but it's not especially clean. Um, so let's test it out. Let's take back. Huh, can I not take back the move? What happened? I appear to have somehow broken the game. Okay. I must have clicked the laser button a bajillion times or something. I can't even tell anymore. Um, let's unpause. Yeah, I know. It's damn floppy disks. Fire A6. Wait for like five seconds. That's pretty cool. Obviously, if something exploded, you need to wait for a little bit longer for the dust to settle. Um, and just to show, it really doesn't matter which laser you fire. 
like I could use that same command as green, and um, it takes just fine. Um, so let me do one last thing to increase the pause buffer. Um, Uh, I'm going to assume 10 seconds is enough for it to resolve anything. Um, but yeah, this is pretty awesome. And so we'll unpause, uh, fire A6, and there you go. We've got some very, very basic functionality going. Um, it's by no means perfect, it's still in alpha, it's not even ready for beta. Oh, hang on. Did it not move the cursor back when it was done? That's so irresponsible. Or did I move that cursor? Um, let's try that once more. Fire A6. Okay, now it did move the cursor back. That movement of the cursor was entirely my fault. Um, yeah, we've got a decently alpha uh, version of the game going. The only way that this could further seriously be improved would be to redo the game itself in a newer language or to somehow expose the game's API uh, so this uh, interface could directly see um, like where the cursor is inside uh, this environment. Yeah, one thing I obviously have to do, still yet to do, is enable multiple rotation of a piece. Right now you can only rotate it clockwise once uh, with the rotate command. You've got to update the documentation to indicate how the commands work. Um, but I've been fighting with this with all all kinds of various APIs, and I got something very, very rudimentary going, so I can be kind of happy with it. Okay, so what's happened while I was away? <laughs> well, nobody's broken it yet. Now what will break it, unfortunately, 
um, will be when somebody actually wins or loses the game. Um, as I have not tested what happens after that, but uh, it's a boundary condition that is pretty far off from here, I assume. And even if not, some manual intervention can help get us through it. Um, yeah, you note that, um, and I've, I've been deliberating what to do here. B2, B4 doesn't exactly work. Yeah, there you go. That's the notation, is B2, D2. Only because that's chess notation. Um, and the board happens to be rotated. Still, it's cool to get this far. I'm pretty happy with it. check out my friend's stream. Yeah, yeah, it's Green's turn, so unfortunately Green can't rotate D2. <laughs> Sorry, I have not documented it. Um, yeah, so commands are... Uh, one second. Commands are move... Um, yeah. There's move, fire, and rotate. And you have to forgive me for not fully implementing a, um, a set, uh, the API that does all the legal moves. Um, I haven't tested castling. I presume it works, but I don't know. Why would you castle in this game? It's beyond me, but um, maybe there's a reason. Um, also, I apologize I've not implemented the take back button. You know, in hindsight, that would be a good button to implement, but I can't code while it's going. But I'm so burned out on coding today, and I'm going to check out somebody else's stream. Um, so I hope you guys will forgive me for that. like Red's got a little bit of a head start. Well, I'm not sure if that helps. Yeah. Unless you really want me to go back to the beginning, I could do that manually for you. I've already deactivated my mouse here so that it doesn't interfere with the... Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Honestly, this game is random enough that anything could happen. Yeah, you have to uh, uh, specify a square. It doesn't even have to be a laser square most of the time, but sure. Alright, so yeah, Red's first move in effect was to um, rotate that uh, B2 pawn and move it forward to D2. I'll have to see if I can somehow get an overlay with notation, but um, for now you'll have to forgive me for that. <laughs> yeah. Also, note that the way I've coded it, we're still in alpha, 
pieces only rotate clockwise and only rotate once uh, per turn. It's quite limiting, and I apologize for that. But, um, so, the, I mean, it's kind of broken. I'm just saying. It's going to take you three turns to rotate something counterclockwise unless there's some manual intervention to do things. So really, this is mostly a chess game at this point. Also note, to, note that the green piece is the knight. Just, just to be clear. Where's the cursor? Okay, it did take. And yeah, note that rotating is just part of a move. So yeah, you can rotate and then move. That's cool. Just be careful. Just be really careful here. Actually, yeah, I should go back and make that more permissive, since I'm using regular expressions. Um, yeah, I should just change the regular expression to be able to capture any space that's between the two. Um, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. The notation, and as well as the way the pieces move, is a little, little tricky to predict. Uh, huh. Can't say I know what's going on there. Yeah, it, it's a horse. It's not a bishop. Uh, Six, 
Steve. Oh! Yeah. Pawn takes knight. I did not see that coming. Wow, somebody's good at chess here. Playing with a rotated board is no easy feat. I think we got a hustler in the house. <laughs> But yeah, I find that this is mostly a chess game that has a laser component to it, as opposed to anything else. <laughs> well, that was a tactful move. Let's see how that turns out. maybe die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Uh-oh! 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 <laughs> uh -oh. Yes, you can type rotate b6. Maybe a 10 second delay after um, explosions is too much. No, 10 actually looks fine. Yep. Well, you know, if he didn't kill your knight, somebody would not have a laser this next turn. I'm just saying. Yeah, one thing I have to give some thought to is how to do, like, team controls for the game. the game seems pretty intimidating, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Things only get desperate when either you're down a lot of pieces or you're down a laser. Being down a laser kind of sucks. <laughs> Although not so, it's not so bad either, because it just means that uh, the squares that the laser could attack are... Um, Potentially under fire.
was that queen going? <laughs> well, there goes a the pawn. Um, I'll offer a hint. Do not move your bishop in front of your rook. Oh, okay, if you gotta go then. Yeah, then move the bishop in front of the rook. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, so just to bring some closure to this game, I8 to H9. <laughs> um, just to bring closure to the game, really. These games do tend to go on forever unless one player does something interesting. Um, especially with not able to do the full complement of the Yep, yep. GG. That was fun. Not bad for an alpha test. Um, oh, I see control goes to the quit button after that's occurred. Um, again, I have no way to detect which button the cursor's on top of, or which square. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Maybe I'll do some more testing and streaming at some other point, but it's still cool to see this go. Thanks, although I have to admit that uh, my programming is just for the interface, or just for the Twitch bot. Um, the game itself is not my own creation, but the Twitch bot itself um, is me adapting how it works. Um, yeah. It's an awesome game. I'd like to see it become more popular. Um, so that's, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Um, and um, I'll continue coding and streaming at some point. Um, yeah, I'm glad to see it get at least this far. to see you guys around sometime.